Now the first step is to restart the computer. Uh, this has worked for me. So I clicked on play and nothing was happening. So I just restarted my computer. So just restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Restart Steam or Epic Games Launcher. Now if you have the game on Steam, you can go to Steam over here, click on exit and then you can relaunch Steam and then check. If you have Epic Games Launcher, do the same thing. Uh, first of all, you can go to your profile icon over here, go to settings. If there is any update, click on restart and update. If you see restart and update, restart and update, relaunch Epic Game Launcher. If there is any update for the game, update and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, go to hardware and sound, go to power options, and over here in my case i have only balanced in your case you might see power saver so you can select power saver and then you have to relaunch the game after you select power saver and then check you can even go for balanced over here and you can even go for high performance but first of all try power saver and then check still not working the next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then over here you can see advanced graphics settings click on it and if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check if this is already on you can turn it off and then check check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings now under advanced tab click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab over here click on change uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size over here now we will make these changes for any in initial size and maximum size but if you face any problem after doing this you can always revert back so do not worry about it now for this uh, you can first of all check how, how much RAM you have so you can go to system and then you can go to about option and then over here in my case it's 16 gigabyte so we have to convert 16 gigabyte into megabyte multiplied 1024 16384 megabyte initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM so 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 in my case you have to calculate as per your RAM so in my case it's 16 gigabyte two four five seven six and then again for maximum size three multiplied total RAM that is three no, sorry 16 gigabyte as per my RAM 16 multiplied one zero two four megabyte in megabyte multiplied three that is four nine one five two and then click on set set is important you have to click on set and then click on ok ok apply ok OK and then you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working then this time type in view advanced system settings over here once again and then click on it click on first settings advanced change this time select system managed size and then click on set click on OK OK apply OK OK and then again restart your computer and then check still not working then we can revert to default the default click on first settings advance change and default you can just put a check over here automatic one and then click on ok and then again you can restart your computer and then you can check now the next step is to rename or delete the config folder now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder now open the local folder and over here you can see hell is us folder open this folder open save folder here you can see config so if you want to create a backup you can copy this and you can paste it to the desktop create a backup or uh, let me inform you when you rename the config folder all the saved settings will be lost so you can rename and then rename the config folder now you can relaunch the game and then check if that does not work uh, you can even uh, rename the save game files 
you will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first. You can copy this, paste it to the de desktop. Just create a backup. Once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can click on rename. You have to start everything from scratch once you do this. But you already have a backup. So once you are able to launch the game, you can, if you want, you can put the save folder back over here. And then you can check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then over here you can see the game exe file make a double click launch the game from here and then check still not working open hell is us binaries win64 select this exe file make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still not working in that case, this time select window, Windows 8 over here and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to, now if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, I'm not using any third party antivirus, but if you're using Windows security, go to privacy and security, Windows security, click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control for access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and open the game folder so in my case this is the location so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open click on add and allowed app once again browse all apps open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then Type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on, uh, sorry. Open control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, allow another app, click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64, select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have MD card, go to MD website. Select your graphic card over here. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system and then click on start search. And then scroll down. The very top GeForce game ready driver is the latest graphic card driver. You can click on get download and then download the file. Once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. When you run this exe file, click on yes to allow and then click on OK. Click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here and then click on next. Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Uh, MD card user, do the same thing. Go to MD. First of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver. Restart your computer. Go to MD website. Select your graphic card. Install the latest graphic card driver. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box. And then click on graphic settings. Click on add desktop app over here. And then go to the game installation folder. And then open the game folder. Select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, click on the game and over here select high performance and then launch the game. Next step is to roll back graphics card driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, in that case, once you select your graphic card, uh, then click on start search and then you can, if 581.15 is not working, whichever is the latest, you can maybe try 580.97 uh, this GeForce game ready driver. You can even go for 577. So you can click on get download, download the file. And then when you go for installation, you have to select custom option. 
So make sure custom and then select perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then you can check. Now the next step is to try DX12 in the launch option. So you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then you can check. So let me close the game for now. You can try this. If this is not working in that case, you can just remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take it. You can just search in Google and then you can go to the Microsoft website, official website. And here you can see Visual Studio files. Scroll down. Here you can see x86 and x64. You have to install both the files, x86 and x64. So click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. Click on just to allow. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. And then you can run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For, so open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update and Security, and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart again. After the system restart, launch the game, and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10%, and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, launch the game. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not using. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra control. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. If you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, uh, you can go to Discord settings and then find overlay over here and then turn off these overlays over here. In my case, it's already off. And then you have to close overlay application. If you have, like if you're using NVIDIA app, then you can launch NVIDIA app. And then you can go to NVIDIA app settings and in settings, you will see NVIDIA overlay. So you can turn off NVIDIA overlay and then you can close NVIDIA app. Now, do not overclock. So close all kinds of overlay application and do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI, Afterburner, Reva Tuner, Overwolf, any kind of like over, overclocking application running, close it. If you have OBS or if you have any kind of third party services or application running, close it. If you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a active in the game, select uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.